Hi there, in the following video I will show you how to answer question 9 of the June 2009 OCR Core 4 paper. This is another video on how to solve differential equations in Core 4. Let's take a look. We have a water heater and uh, the temperature of the water is given by theta. And it tells us that when the heater is first switched on, theta is 40. So we can say that at time 0, theta is equal to 40 degrees Celsius. And then it tells us that um, the water is heated up from that time until another time later, where theta is now equal to 60. And it tells us that the rate of increase during that time is a constant rate of K1 uh, degrees uh, Celsius per second. So that's the rate of increase. And it asks us to work out, in terms of K1, the time, how long it takes for this increase from 40 to 60. Well, as anyone would know, if we wanted to work out the rate of increase, the rate of increase must be equal to the increase that happened divided by the time it took for that increase. So rearranging this, if we want to therefore work out the time, let's call that t, that must be the increase divided by the rate, divided by the rate of increase. Okay, so if we want to work out this time in terms of k1, the time is simply the increase, which was 60 minus, uh, 60 minus 40, all divided by uh, the rate, which is k1. So simplifying that, t must be equal to 20 divided by k1. And an easy first part for one mark. Okay, then it tells us um, that having reached uh, theta being 60, now the water starts to decrease in temperature. So let's write what happened. When t was 0, theta was equal to 40. Okay, and then we had an increase, okay, over time, which we said time turned out to be 20 over k1. And and the rate over this time was k1 as a rate, until this time later, as I said, was 20 over k1, we had theta being 60. But now, from this point, the rate starts decreasing, so the temperature starts decreasing, until it is back to 40. But the key difference here is that the rate is decreasing at a variable rate, okay, at a variable rate, not at a constant rate, as before. And this variable rate is given by um, k2 theta minus 20. So part 2, part ii, asks us to write down a differential equation to describe this. Well what's happening here? The rate of temperature is decreasing. So the rate of change of temperature d t, it, theta by dt must be equal to the negative okay, of the rate which is k2 theta minus 20. It's important to get that negative sign in there to denote uh, decrease. And there we go, part two is done for us simply. So moving on to part three, remember what we said. We said that d theta by dt was equal to minus or negative k2 theta minus 20. Okay, now going back to our diagram, the question in part three is asking us for the total time from here to here in terms of k1 and k2. We've got this bit. How are we going to get this bit? Well, we will if we solve this differential equation here for t and try and find t. So we're going to do that by separating variables and integrating. Divide both sides by theta minus 20 and multiply both sides by dt. We'll get the following. 1 over theta minus 20 d theta would be equal to minus k2 dt and we take the integral of both. Okay, and this side would give us a ln, ln theta minus 20 and this side would give us minus k2 t plus a constant. Now we want to find t, so um, let's use some boundary conditions. We know that when t is 0 in the second stage here, I'm going to say t is again 0 here in this second process, when t is 0, we know that theta 
was equal to 60. So sub that all in. Sub in t is 0, this disappears. Sub in theta is 60, we get ln 40 here. This tells us that c must be ln of 40. Okay, so this constant, ln 40, I'm going to write that back into the solution, except I'm going to subtract it from both sides so it ends up on this side. And I'm going to get that ln theta minus 20, subtract ln 40, is going to be equal to minus k2t. And maybe combining our, our luns here, this will give us that ln theta minus 20, all divided by 40, would be equal to minus k2t. Now, last thing, we know we want to find what t, what t is at uh, when theta is equal to um, 40. Sorry, when theta is equal to 40. So we sub in theta is equal to 40, and we get ln. 40 minus 20 is uh, 20. 20 divided by 40 is a half. We get ln a half is equal to minus k2t. So time rearranging is simply minus 1 over k2 ln a half. Which you could write, if you took the minus 1 up there, we could write this as 1 over k2 ln of 2. So what's the uh, total time? Well, this time here was 20 over k1, and this time here we've worked out as 1 over k2 ln 2. So total time is equal to 20 over k1 plus 1 over k2 ln 2. Okay, I, I hope you found the following useful in your revision for core 4 differential equations. Thank you for watching.